Good day everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. In the, today's video we have a quick and short presentation of a nice transceiver. It's a first transceiver launched by my friends from uh, XH Data. This is E100. It's a 6 watts VHF UHF handheld transceiver. It also has airband, AM airband and also uh, weather. So uh, yeah, so far I've been playing with it for uh, for the last uh, couple of days and so far I like it. Um, I did a couple of tests as well, uh, pretty much just a power test and some antenna testing as well. Uh, the only one that I did not have the chance to do is a test on the harmonic suppression just because uh, I'm still waiting uh, to get an RF attenuator for my tiny SA. But meanwhile, probably one of my fellow YouTubers will do a test if they also have uh, this uh, transceiver on uh, on hand to test it out. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get here on the table really quick. We're going to take a closer look. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about some technical specs and I hope you like it as much as I do. Okay, so uh, I already took the radio out of the box, but this is the way the box looks like. Uh, it's pretty simple. Inside you have the user manual and uh, lanyard. You have a USB cable to charge your um, your transceiver. And I think that's it. Yeah, there's nothing else underneath. Of course, you also receive the transceiver. Let me put the box away. We'll have a closer look right now. I am charging it as we speak. Um, the transceiver doesn't look bad. Um, seems like a rough construction. It says uh, that the battery has 300 milliamps. Um, I don't know, I didn't check yet. Um, I managed to do a couple of tests, but I didn't check the battery, but at least that's what it's written in the, um, in the technical specs. Uh, other than that, the menu is really um, easy to access. Uh, it's very simple. I left the beeping sound and everything else right now just uh, to play around. Usually I take them off. So uh, yeah, uh, usually it's, it seems really easy to, to set up. Um, it's pretty basic like uh, any other transceiver. Over here you have uh, the headphones and uh, microphone. Oops, sorry. And the microphone uh, plug. Uh, for an external one if you want um, here underneath I don't know what it's over there but there seems to be something I need to check the user manual for that over here we have three buttons as usual for this kind of transceivers volume button on and off an LED uh, you have the battery clip and the battery itself right now um, it's charging. You can charge it straight away with the USB-C cable and uh, after it's fully charged we're going to do a quick power test. Um, yeah, unfortunately I cannot do, um, I cannot do um, harmonics test uh, just because I don't have my RF attenuator yet uh, for the tiny SA. Unfortunately, I believe from what I watched so far from my uh, fellow YouTubers and I'll put a link in the video description to um, a video of um, another YouTuber that I'm following and he also uh, presented the transceiver. Um, indeed, uh, he did a test for the, for the harmonic suppression. On the VHF, unfortunately, it was not so good. Uh, so probably the filtering needs uh, improvement in the future. On UHF it was a lot better, but yeah, um, I think there's uh, a need for a little bit more attention on the filtering. Other than that, the radio looks um, and works pretty fine. I mean, um, I like it, but uh, yeah, definitely needs a little bit of improvement on the filtering side, on the low pass filter. Uh, because at the end we have to be legal <laughs> when we transmit and we don't want to transmit, um, you know, uh, harmonics on other frequencies. So anyway, let's do a quick power test and see uh, how it looks on the power. I'm just going to wait uh, really quick for it to charge and other than that I'll be right back to do a power test. Okay, so uh, let's do a quick power test. I'm on 145 megahertz right now. I have my 
RF watt meter over here set up for the two meters band and I'm transmitting not sure how well you can see somewhere around four watts and a half almost five watts so that's what I get and a fly that's what I get on the power output almost there but not quite there uh, not exactly six watts but it's not bad five watts almost it's acceptable I would say but I would I would uh, I would write uh, five watts if uh, if I know that there are not uh, six watts just yet let's put uh, 400 and Yeah, and I'm going to have to uh, change a couple of settings over here to make sure that I'm getting the right power output on the uh, 70 centimeters band as well, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back for the 70 centimeters band as well. Unfortunately, I have to calibrate the the RF watt meter every time I'm doing measurements on uh, big differences of frequencies. Um, so let's do a quick test on here as well. It's about the same even though on 70 centimeters it looks like I have a little bit more power I do have about 5 watts and just a little bit over I'm not sure how well you can see but um, on the on the 2 meters band I have a little bit under 5 watts maybe 480 watts but this is with my RF watt meter, it's not 100% uh, uh, precise, uh, remember, it's homemade, <laughs> but uh, for me it's enough to figure out uh, if I'm at least close to um, what it says on the, um, on the technical specs. So anyway, let's talk really quick about uh, some technical specs of the radio and you'll get to decide if you like it or not. If you look, if you take a closer look at it, it seems like a decent build. It's very similar to other uh, similar uh, transceivers on the market today uh, coming from China. Uh, it's not bad. The build quality seems nice. Uh, I like it. And the battery is nice and secure. It's not easy to fall off or something like that. Uh, it says again uh, that it has 3000 milliamps. Um, I'm going to have to check that as well. Um, I didn't get to do that yet, but it clips really secure. I like it. Um, the buttons and the controls are very similar to, to what we are used to. Uh, the menu, again, it's uh, easy, to, easy to set up and easy to understand. So it's nothing fancy and complicated. Um, I, I like when, when uh, the transceivers are very simple. Um, other than that, it has uh, FM radio from 65 to 108 megahertz. It also has AM aviation band from 108 to 136 megahertz. Of course, Eric's only. You cannot transmit on those frequencies. Um, it has 999 memory channels on the power level. You have two settings, um, low and high. Uh, just the usual, basically. Uh, VFO scanning, frequency scanning, you know, all the all the usual stuff that you get in this uh, type of uh, transceivers. Um, yeah, I um, I like it. I think it might uh, need a little bit of improvement. Again, I'm going to repeat myself on the filtering part. I'm going to also double check this once I get my RF uh, watt meter. Uh, sorry, my uh, RF attenuator for the for the tiny SA. And I'm going to check the harmonic suppression on both uh, both bands, VHF and UHF. Um, so far, I've been testing it around. It sounds really nice. It has like a, it, the sound from the speaker is good. Uh, it, it's very decent. Um, I have nothing against it. It's <laughs> I'm happy with it. But um, I'm going to wait until I can check the harmonic suppression on the two meters band to make sure that it's fine. And after that. If everything is okay, we'll do some um, satellite QSOs and, uh, you know, that's my favorite way to test transceivers. I don't like using repeaters that much. So, uh, yeah, I would say that it's a nice transceiver. Um, 
except the filtering part. Uh, that probably needs a little bit of an improvement, at least on the two meters band so far. Uh, from what I've seen from my fellow YouTubers, I'm going to double check that myself as well. The antenna is decent, it resonates well, I'm not going to put the, the test uh, in the video because you saw me doing it in the other videos as well. Um, but uh, it does resonate on 2 meters and 70 centimeters, uh, just, uh, just like any other uh, VHF, UHF antenna. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad transceiver. I think it could become a little bit better, definitely. <laughs> uh, with a little bit of improvement, um, it uh, it could get even better than it is uh, at this point. Um, I hope you like this transceiver as much as I do. Um, I really like it and definitely I'm going to find a use for this one up in the Choklovina Scout Center because I'm trying to gather transceivers to, to take them over there um, for the people to use. So. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the today's video. I'll see you next time uh, when we are going to continue with some uh, experiments on VLF receivers. Until then, thanks again for watching and 73 from Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-Ray Echo.